What do you know about concrete form oil? Well, don't worry, because this video is going to fill you in on all the details. My name is Tyler Lay, and I'm a professor at Oklahoma State University, and I'm a concrete freak. And in this video, my students got in the action and made a video all about concrete form oil. I hope you enjoy it, and please leave them a nice comment below. I'm Rachel Schwartz. I'm Lauren Breedlove. And I'm Nate Morris, Concrete Superfan. What important topic are we covering today? Form oil. We all use it every day here at the lab, but what effect does it really have on the concrete we use it with? First, before we get into some exciting test results, we have to answer some important questions. First up, let's start with the very basics. What is form oil? Form oil is a release agent that helps ease the concrete out of the forms that they are cured in. Of course, there are many different brands commonly used. Three that we will be using today will be Magic Coat, Motor Oil, and Pam Cooking Spray. <laughs> Pam is definitely the most expensive of the three options. Its pressured nature makes it more expensive by new bulk. Not to mention, it's a pain in the butt to measure out mass breaking. I think my fingers still hurt from that. I don't know. Not only the cost, but there are other big differences between the three options. Specifically, the DOC content. We'll touch a bit on that later on. They all have different reaction types to them as well. Barrier and reaction. They can also be applied in different ways too. Brushing. Dunking. And spray are the main applications. Typically, three grams of form oil are used in the cylinders for concrete. But if we just did the norm, it wouldn't be an interesting experiment, experiment, now would it? That's right, Nate. We're analyzing the amount of oil that should be applied to a cylinder and the effects of the chemical bond between the form oil and the concrete. First, the hole would be drilled on the bottom of the form to pop off the cylinder bowl from the concrete after set time. With the mixes we do at the lab, Form oil is used to help demold the cylinders for testing after the set time has elapsed. An air compressed hose is used to ease the cylinder out of the molds. Wow. This method allows for the recycling of used molds for other tests. Reduce the time of demolding and increase ease of form removal with minimal tools required. Form oil is a big player in the ease of this. But are there any dangers from using it versus not using it? It seems like such an amazing product. Why wouldn't everyone use it for their forms? Alright, well that's what we're here to find out. The oil can leave a biofilm that does not allow it. And it can resolve in concrete with large air points. Now we're going to find out how much this affects our cylinders. Also remember how we were going to discuss the DOC content? Well, later is now. Yeah, I suppose there actually is also a factor with the VOC content and how much the form oil emits. The EPA had to end up stepping in to regulate how much VOC is able to go into the form oil. That's not all we're doing though. That's right. Forms are always consolidated to get rid of major air bubbles that would affect the permeability and durability of the cylinder. But does that vibration have an effect on our form oil? That's a great question. One special thing we're doing is showing how the vibrations from consolidation moves the oil in the mold. By placing an inner layer of oil in the plexiglass cylinder, then adding the concrete to the plexiglass, we will record and watch as the oil in the plexiglass is vibrated up to the surface of concrete. That sounds so cool. Well, hopefully we answered all of you guys' initial questions that you might have about form oil. Let's jump into the next video where we'll see the results of all of our testing and that awesome plexiglass experiment.
Hey Concrete Super fans, did you think we'd leave you out in the testing that we were conducting? Remember, we're investigating how the form oil affects the concrete coated inside the cylinder molds and coated on the aggregate. To do this investigation, we'll be running certain tests and comparing the results to the control mixture which has absolutely zero form oil associated with it whatsoever. These tests are split into fresh testing and hardened testing. With the fresh tests, we're looking at the unit weight and the vibration test we mentioned with the plexiglass cylinders. The plexiglass will allow us to see the behavior of form oil and concrete when the vibrations are introduced. With hardened testing, we'll be looking at the 14 day compressive strength of each different mix with all different types of form oil. The resistivity which will give us permeability and therefore durability of the concrete, a cross section comparison of each mix sample, and finally surface finishes of wooden and steel molds. I hope you guys are as excited as I am about these results. Stay tuned for the next video.